Before I begin this video, I just want to give a small update. I'm in the process of a 100 subscriber game giveaway which will run until March 14th. Check out the link in the description for more info on the giveaway and how to enter. So far there are only 12 entries, so your chance of winning is quite good. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Hello Bannerlord enthusiasts, welcome back on this lovely day in March. I hope your day is going well. To be here. I've been asked by a few people and have wanted to make a video on the subject for a while anyways. DLC in Bannerlord is an interesting topic, and while though I very much dislike most DLC practices that the majority of AAA companies use, Tale Worlds has kept a decent DLC practice that I do not think they will change, releasing sizable and very unique and different content from the base game in a true expansion. I'm already very excited for Bannerlord itself, but am also equally excited for the potential expansions and mods we may receive in the following years to come. As seen in my recent video on what Bannerlord will mean to modders, we have seen that Tale Worlds has developed diverse and powerful modding tools, understanding that talented mod creators may use these tools to produce the next official Bannerlord DLC. Napoleonic Wars was hugely successful, selling millions and being sold close to as many times as Warband itself. I highly doubt that Tale Worlds will develop the DLC themselves. Instead, they will either hire mod creators or build upon a mod that has already been created, like they did for the current Warband DLC. I also doubt that there will be another Napoleonic Wars or Viking Conquest DLC. I believe there will be similar expansions, but certainly not the exact same theme or time period, as I believe neither Tale Worlds or the players want to see a rehash of the same thing. Napoleonic Wars was aptly based on the Napoleonic Wars. A Bannerlord counterpart could be the French Revolution, the American Revolution, the French and Indian War, or even the Great Northern War. All would have similar weaponry, which is why I believe Napoleonic Wars succeeded so well in its multiplayer aspect. Mountain Blade games and their expansions for the most part follow historical timelines. They could make a DLC that is non-historical, although I would be highly doubtful for them to do so. Other great times of war that would make amazing expansions in DLC could be the Thirty Years' War, the Thirteen Years' War, the Ottoman Civil War, Feudal Japan, the Wars of the Roses, Southeast Asia during the 16th century, the European Crusades, and many more. Most of these suggestions have actually already been made into mods for Warband, which are among some of the best mods I've ever played. The possibilities are endless, and would all make really fascinating mods, however I believe only the musket-based ones would become worthy multiplayer sequels to Napoleonic Wars. But the rest could create admirable single player campaigns and bring a host of new gameplay and learning of the historical time periods. Another type of DLC that I would love to see that could serve as a complement to Viking Conquest could be a mod set in the Caribbean of the Americas during the colonization and conquering of the New World in the beginnings of piracy. It could create a really fun theme with ship warfare, cannons, and all that comes with this time period that, that could create a really unique and awesome game. Sailing the sea as a pirate, a merchant cargo ship, or a mercenary of the British Royal Navy would be utterly awesome, and could create an interesting multiplayer aspect if done well as well. Factions would work out well enough, and it overall works historically speaking. The map could be interesting if properly done too. I also would personally love to see an official DLC of a brand or movie as well, such as Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings, yet I highly doubt we will see anything like that simply because of licensing fees and issues regarding that. So we will surely see these themes and mods, but unlikely as of actual official DLC. In general though, I believe they will make a gunpowder based warfare multiplayer successor mod for Napoleonic Wars, but other than that it's totally an open book and anything is a solid possibility. Overall, the modding possibilities and therefore the DLC options of Bannerlord are endless. I am very eager to see whatever is in store for us. Tale Worlds releases truly memorable and worthwhile DLC, a practice that few companies match today. I just hope they continue with that for Bannerlord time will tell. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching and staying as long as you have. Let me know what you thought of the video. Do you agree with me? What theme of the various suggestions I gave would you be most interested in? Do you have any more DLC suggestions? Do you think there will be another Napoleonic Wars type expansion for Bannerlord? Let me know in, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, let me know by leaving a like or a comment. If you didn't, let me know how I can improve. If you don't do either, I hope every time you play a Mountain Blade game, your fights will be raided and bandits will drink from your skull. Also, I just want to let you know that I have now created a Facebook and Twitter page for this channel. Like and follow me on those, to which the links are in the description, for Mountain Blade news, announcements, and notifications of new videos. Anyways, once again, thank you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day, wherever you are, in the big massive world we call home.